December 16th. Been uh, waiting for a very cold time to uh, fire up. Camper Special 454 Original Decided to um, Park it back here For this main winter They put a different mixture On the roads up here that's why these trucks don't exist anymore. I figured I got other trucks to drive. Why well, get this one all rusted up? So it's going to be an 18 degree cold start. I'm not sure the battery is uh, pretty good in this thing. It's fairly new. It is a Walmart brand battery. Um, been sitting here oh, a couple months now haven't touched it Let's see what happens Lights on. A good sign.
lights in here. Whew. pumps two goddamn pumps cranked it she's running opinions on um, carburetors and fuel injection and this and that. Um, Edelbrock. A lot of people hate them. I don't know why. I've been using them for years. Every vehicle I've gotten pretty much, well, GMs anyway, you know. The uh, Quadrajet would always be on there. It, you know, it would run okay. Some of them would run okay, and I would drive them with that. As soon as you put that Edelbrock on there, it's a world of difference. I don't understand why people don't like them. You know, people that like Hollies, I agree. You need that big Holly for uh, for racing and whatnot. Big horsepower, you know, a lot of fuel, but for the street, for these old trucks, it's all I run. Edelbrock 600 with electric choke. You dial it in just right. It doesn't even take much to really get them adjusted. Just do them by ear. Hook up that one wire to that 12 volts and one pump, two pumps, usually that's it. It's a very cold blooded, big block, original. 1980, 454, up here in Maine, it's uh, been sitting here a couple months, and it's been getting down into the single digits at night. We had a little series of uh, snowstorms, maybe three in a row, and we got a good amount of snow, maybe about a foot or so, um, as you notice in the yard, it already uh, it's warmed up a couple days you know got into the 40s and rain so a lot of it melted down but um, I was really uh, waiting to you know get into the single digits where I could uh, come out during the day and start this up for you guys and, I mean um, I don't know I didn't know what it was gonna do well, I mean, it's a Chevy, so yeah, you know it's going to start, but um, yeah, I didn't know. Walmart battery, sitting back here, covered in ice and snow, and two 
pumps, the key on, cranked and started, high idle, it's usually, uh, the high idle usually is kind of a, it's a hit or miss, you know, if you try to kick it down too early, it's got a, you know, it's got a little weird uh, characteristic to it where if you, if you do it too early, it'll never kick down, so. They all, you know, you could put the exact same carburetor and engine, I mean, you could do everything exactly to these old trucks, and no matter what, every one of them is going to have its own ways. It's going to act different, it's going to start different, you know. The old 78, the farm truck, that thing, you hit the key once, you know, same thing, Edelbrock, electric choke, fires right up. but. It wants to uh, it wants to load up right away you know it's just what it does it's what it likes to do so you got to give her a couple you know chuck her a couple revs there and she smooths right out kicks down and you're good for the day you warmed up so this is uh, you know there's a couple of series of kick downs where that I already kicked it down once Sorry, you missed that. Uh, that high idles, you know, you don't want to leave it on that for a long time, especially with a stock big block in the cold. It's not good to be, you know, really revving that high, but um, I kicked it down once. I don't have a tack or anything. I don't know what we're at right now, but probably uh, maybe 2,000, uh, 2,000 RPMs maybe. I don't know. But... Uh, gonna kick it down again here and see what happens. No, still not ready to do its final uh, kick down.